Welcome to this edition of Desserts with David. Today we are going to make a banana cream pie out of the Bake It, Don't Fake It cookbook by Heather Bertinetti. Um, so what we're going to start with, we have two cups ground shortbread cookies, one stick melted butter, uh, half a cup of confectioner sugar, and one teaspoon of vanilla extract, and then we're going to a little bit of half a teaspoon of kosher salt. So we're just going to mix all these in the bowl. Oh, we have the oven preheated to 350. And it calls for a nine inch pie pan, but I only have nine and a half, so we're going to use that. Put in the sugar and the vanilla. And we're just going to guess on the kosher salt. It's half a teaspoon, so. I'm just going to mix all this together. Once you guys are all mixed. We are going to press it into the pie pan here. Then you want to get it up the sides and in the bottom. You know what, I'm just going to... And we're going to throw that in the oven and cook it in 350 for 10 minutes. Okay, while that's cooking, we're going to start on our cream for the middle. I have four, the ingredients we need are four egg yolks, three fourths cup sugar. Let me look at my list here. Fourth a cup cornstarch, four cups whole milk, pinch of kosher salt, two teaspoons vanilla extract, and five tablespoons of unsalted butter cubed. And then this also has, um, we're gonna have two tablespoons of dark rum added. So first off, we're going to whisk our eggs, our half the sugar, the cornstarch, and the yolk. So we're gonna Whisk those together. I have the um, milk in the pan going. We're going to get that to a boil. We have the other half of the sugar in the milk. So I'm just going to whisk, whisk this up together and apparently make a mess. set that aside. So again I have the milk and the rest of the sugar. I'm going to do that to a boil. So it's going to take about five minutes. So we'll work on that and then we'll come back. Okay, we got our milk boiling. So what we're going to do, I'm going to turn it down to medium low here. We are going to ladle some of the hot milk into our yolk mixture. 
to temper the eggs because we don't want them to turn scrambled eggs. You know what? Hang on a minute. Gotta stop that from spinning, so I'm going to. Just slowly pour it in as you stir it, mix, whisk it. Do one more. Okay. And we are going to put this up into the milk. We're going to have medium low. We're going to do it until it starts bubbling and we'll whisk it constantly. After it starts bubbling, we'll whisk it, cook it for another minute um, while it's bubbling. So. so you want to just keep whisking it and stirring it. It'll take about five minutes. So we'll be back when we're ready to add our rest of the ingredients. Okay, we're almost done. We got about 20 seconds left. We got it to a boil, then cooked it to so bubbling, then cooked it another minute, whisking it constantly. So we'll starting to thick up. Okay. Okay, we're going to turn that off and bring it over here so it's a little thicker. And we are going to add our butter, five tablespoons of unsalted butter. Two teaspoons of vanilla extract, or you could also use a vanilla bean and scrape off the seeds and put it in there. And then this recipe also calls for two tablespoons of dark rum. I'm going to add that. I'm going to mix this all together until it melts. Ooh, I can smell that rum. Um, then we have a ice bath set up here. We're going to pour the vanilla cream in there once it's all melted and mixed together. Then we will cover it with plastic wrap. We we'll make sure the plastic wrap is top touching the top of the cream so that you don't get a film formed on top. Gonna let that cool. And we wanna let that cool off completely. You can store it in the refrigerator, the recipe says, for up to a week. But once we get it cooled, we're gonna put our pie together today, so. Okay, it's all mixed in. Just gonna pour it into this bowl that's inside the ice bath. Again, we wanna cover it and make sure we put the film all the way down, touching the top. Okay, so we got that all done. We're gonna let that cool in here. Uh, the crust is, was cooked for 10 minutes until it set, so we got that cooling off. So while this is cooling, I'm gonna clean up a little bit and then we'll come back We'll put it together and we'll make the whip topping. All right, I'll come back. Our cream has cooled off, so we're going to take it out of the bath. I'm going to take off the... And we're going to build our vanilla cream. So we want to put about a third of the cream in. Spread it out.
Then we're going to slice our banana and put layer bananas on there. more here. Okay. Put another layer of the vanilla cream. Three layers vanilla cream banana vanilla cream bananas and vanilla cream banana vanilla cream banana vanilla then add and the bananas <laughs> Pat, so we'll cut that off.
Finish with a layer of bananas. soft spot on it so we won't use that one. All right, so we got that done. So now we are going to make our whip topping. Let me grab the heavy cream out of the refrigerator. Have one and a half cups of heavy whipping cream. And we're going to whisk this until it starts to thicken up. To this, we're going to add half a cup of texture sugar and either uh, the beans of a vanilla bean or one teaspoon of vanilla extract. Once it starts thickening up, we'll slowly add that. Okay. Whisk that till it starts to form some stiff peaks. I don't know if I got this out already. Huh. Let me check on it. Yep. See, we got some stiff peaks in there. So we're just going to spread this on top. Do it fancy if you want to use a bag and tarp, pull stars, whatever you want to do. I'm just going to spread it on. We're going to do this, then you chill it for at least three hours, and then you have your banana cream pie. Now, I would try this tonight, but I'm making this for my cookbook book club at the Carlton Branch Library tomorrow, so we'll have them all try it tomorrow and see how they like it. Thank you for joining us. Again, our banana cream pie, our cookbook was Make It, Don't Fake It by Heather Bartonelli, Bartonetti, sorry, and um, we will see you next time.
Tata. 